Welcome back to the channel. Every gardener has their favorite flower and this one is mine. This is a Pacific Giant Definium. It grows in zones 3 to 7. It's a perennial, comes back every year. And it is just absolutely glorious. This one stands six and a half feet tall, over two meters. Of all the flowers, you can see how glorious this one is. It just stands so stately and it just really is quite a showstopper in any garden. I have several delphiniums in my garden. Let's take a look at the other ones. This is another group of delphiniums in front of me. They come from the Fantasia collection. These are only three feet tall and they will help with the wind problems that usually topple over the delphiniums. I tend to tuck them in my other perennials to give them a little bit of a wind barrier so that when the storms come through it won't topple them over. But you can support them. Let's take a closer look. You can see that they're quite striking even at the shorter height and they come in a wide range of colors. One thing that's really good about Definiums is they respond well to deadheading and will give you a second flush of blooms. I've actually had Definiums blooming all the way into the wake of Thanksgiving in the United States, which is in November. So here is the Definium I have deadheaded. And you can see the little new growth coming down below. It's a little yellow, but it's coming along. So this one should be blooming probably in about another four weeks. So again, remember to deadhead your Definiums. You can see I have a little bit of yellowing on this plant. That's because it needs a little bit more nitrogen and needs to be fertilized. They are heavy feeders. So you can see all the different colors of blue. It's just spectacular. It's a really light colored blue. What I've done with these definiums is allowed them to dot the garden and give it a little bit of contrast to the lower plants that are in there. And it is absolutely stunning. I believe this color is called Bomb Blue Bee Blue for obvious reasons. The bees love it. You can see all the stems down below here. There's probably 10 or more. This definium has only been in the ground for three years. And it's just amazing. It keeps multiplying. So I grew this from seed. Too. It grow they it takes time it takes time but you can grow them from seed. Contrasting the other two varieties of definiums, this is a butterfly definium and this is only about 12 inches tall, which is really nice for a front of a border or in an area that is probably well sheltered. The butterfly definium where I have it planted here is in a very sandy location. Um, it's right next to my blacktop, so it gets a little bit hot in the summer. It does have part sun versus full sun here. And it just absolutely loves it. I recently planted um, some other flowers beside it, but it is just the most glorious blue. I had a couple of other ones that were in here that didn't do so well, so I pulled them out. I'm going to put them in the nursery to see if I can get them to grow bigger, but look at that color blue. It is, I don't know, electric blue. I don't even know what you call it. But I really like the butterfly definiums. I collected some seed last year and I'm trying to get some to grow from seed. Uh, my first batch looks like I got one viable seed. Here is a look at uh, the butterfly definium. I planted it about a month ago from seed that I had collected. And you can see there's a little bitty one coming. It's the one that's brighter green. If you like the color blue, I suggest adding definiums to your garden. There's lots of color variations. I find them to be very easy to grow. I'm growing them in alkaline soil. I have heavy clay in this garden. And I've amended it with 100% composted manure when I planted them. I have a video I will post below. If this video is helpful, give us a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share this content with others. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my other great videos. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.